Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. And in the war with an alpha, we got a ton more class changes, with many of our favorite playstyles getting some much needed talent revamps. Just the other day, we were able to cover some of the big changes coming to the class of Druid, though another class is getting even more fundamentally massive revamps, and that'll be the class of Monk, which is getting a fairly sizable revamp, both to the Monk base class talent tree as well as the individual spec trees for the Windwalker as well as the Mist River Monk. And that's not even including all of the different changes that's arriving with a brand new set of hero towns, with two possible options available for every single spec in the game. So as part of our continuation of the Alpha War Within coverage, I wanted to go over some of the major revamps and changes arriving to the class of Monk, and why it actually might be one of the classes you should probably start considering as a potential main going forward. But right before we get into the more Alpha for War Within coverage, most of you guys watching these kind of update videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more regular content regarding Dragonflight Patch 10.26, 10.27, Season 4 or any of the future War Within updates. The class of Monk is getting an insanely in-depth makeover when it comes to their talents in the War Within, which I honestly think has been a long time coming. The shift from the Shadowlands into Dragonflight with a whole new set of talent trees was a good choice initially, but what it really needed is a bit more iteration. Classes such as Rogues, Paladins, Mages and Priests all got revamps to their talent trees, further improving these classes, making them feel a little bit more feature complete and monks, among a few other classes, needed a revamp of their own to continue to build up on a solid base created in Dragonflight, but that revamp is coming big time with the War Within Alpha. As always though, and I probably should start mentioning this more regularly, all the alpha progress on classes is by no means final, there's going to be a ton more changes going forward and the class will continue to evolve, but I still want to take a closer look at what they've done with it thus far. So to start things off, the class talent tree doesn't even look the same as the one in Dragonflight. Generally, the talent tree is going to see a lot of the older talents adjusted so that monks can now easily pick up some of the utility as they invest further into the talent tree. To do this, more pathing options are being added and other talents are being included in order to help bridge some of the other utility options better together. A lot of the throughput talents required to perform better when it comes to endgame content have been removed from the monk base class talent tree. Many of those mandatory must-have talents did create limitations on how a monk would generally build out their spec within the class tree, so they decided to create more choices rather than requirements for you to pick up in the monk base talent tree. Also, the talent tree is now filled with a ton of new fun options, some with big mobility improvements, with things like Jade Walk which increases your movement speed by 15% while out of combat, Quick Footed which reduces the duration of snare effects by 20%. Swift Art causes Roll to remove a snare effect once every 30 seconds. Lighter Than Air is an exciting new talent which causes Roll to grant you a buff, allowing you to execute a double jump to dash forward a short distance once within 5 seconds of rolling, creating some new mobility options. Rushing Reflexes allows you to react swiftly after rolling, causing you to quickly lunge to the nearest enemy within 10 yards after you roll and Link Spirits causes you to bind your Transcendence to an ally for one hour, while using Transcendence causes you to teleport to that ally's location. Besides mobility, monks are also getting additional utility options and quality of life improvements in the base class talent tree, with abilities such as Pressure Points where Paralysis will now remove enrage effects from its target. Flow of Chi causes you to gain different bonuses depending on your current health. Above 90% you gain more movement speed, between 90% and 35% of health you take less damage, and below 35% health your healing taken is increased by 10%. Chi Wave is now a passive that procs whenever you rise on Sun Kick or Vivify, releasing a wave of Chi that bounces between foes and allies. And the baseline cooldown of Fortifying Brew for Mist Weavers and Windwalkers is now 2 minutes and the talent of Iron Shell Brew causes that ability to increase your health and reduce damage further by 10 additional percent. Also Clash has made its return as a unique mobility spell that monks used to have during earlier iterations of WoW expansions which is going to have some value within PvE and PvP content. 
Next, let's go over some of the individual monk spec talent trees. For War Within, so far we know that Windwalker and Mistweaver are set to gain additional changes, but it's also possible the Brewmaster may see more talent additions in future alpha builds. For the Windwalker talent tree, we're getting a revamp in War Within, with majority of their tree no longer looking the same, bar a few major cooldown options. To highlight some of the major points, Fist of Fury and Glory of Dawn will now scale with your haste stat, making it less of a dead option. With Tiger Palm energy cost increasing to 60 energy, the value of haste is now going to be a bit more valuable for monks when it comes to energy regen. Jade Fire Stump reset mechanic is also being removed, but they added options to make it better supported for pure single target content. And most of the touch of death AoE gameplay is also being removed from the Windwalker in order to better support their actual AoE abilities. And Serenity is also being removed so they can better focus on Storm, Earth and Fire as a consistent cooldown for the purpose of class tuning, but also to reduce some of the resource overload that comes with Serenity. As for the individual Windwalker talents, I noticed that they're trying to be a bit more interactive, allowing monks to create new hit combos when it comes to their base rotations, with things like Acclamation Talent causing Rising Sun Kick to increase the target's damage taken by 4% for 12 seconds, though multiple instances of this debuff may overlap. Martial Mixture causes Blackout Kicks to increase the damage of your Tiger Palm by 10%, stacking up to 12 times. Courageous Impulse increases Blackout Kick proc effect to increase his damage further by 175%. Momentum Boost causes your Fist of Fury to be more empowered, but also causing you to gain 60% increased auto attack speed after Fist of Fury ends. Dual Thread gives you auto attacks a 20% chance to instead kick your target, dealing bonus damage while also increasing the damage you do by 5%. And to top things off, Windwalker Monks are also getting Touch of Karma as a baseline spell taken out of the talent tree which is a nice quality of life improvement. And overall the tree is a much more improved version of what Windwalkers can currently experience right now over on the live realms, with plenty of brand new synergies that bring a much new refresher to the spec, allowing you to better define what type of combo attacks your monk can execute, creating a more exciting rotation and better monk gameplay. And I kind of hope that some of these monk class changes make their way earlier than the war within pre-patch, like in the patch 10 to 7, because everything here sounds like a much needed upgrade that the Windwalker has needed for a very long time, and I cannot wait to test out all of these changes for myself on the alpha or the beta. And up next we have the Mist River talent changes, which will include things like adding the two set tier set bonus as part of the talent tree, as well as the removal of essence font. But they're also looking to add additional support for monks who enjoy Fist Weaver melee healing by making their mastery a bit more interactive. Starting with talents such as Crane Style, which causes Rising Sun Kick to kick up a gust of mist mastery heal on two allies within 40 yards, where Spinning Crane Kick and Black Cow Kick have a chance to kick up a gust of mist on one ally within 40 yards. Deep Clarity causes Vivify to trigger Zen Pulse after consuming a Thunder Focus team. Chi Harmony, their two set bonus from Dragonflight, now is a talent which causes Renew and Mist to apply Chi Harmony on its initial target, increasing their healing taken from you by 50% for 8 seconds. Zen Pulse has also been redesigned, which replaces the Mistweaver's raid and AoE healing component. Renew and Mist has a chance to buff Vivify, causing it to trigger Zen Pulse on every target with an active Renew and Mist. The healing of Zen Sphere is increased by 5% per active miss, increased by up to a maximum of 50%. Jade Fire Stump now also causes gusts of miss on each ally that he heals, adding towards that group AoE Mistweaver Fist Weaving Healing. But for now, that's gonna be everything we got so far behind some of the monk changes coming out with the War Within Alpha. As I said earlier, Alpha is still a work in progress, so none of these things are fully finalized, but so far what they got cooking for the monk between Windwalker and Mistweaver gets me personally very excited. I'm loving all of the new combo abilities available for the spec of Windwalker as they're trying to stabilize it with a very specific set of cooldowns and a very specific playstyle that they can build upon going forward. But I'm also a big fan of the base class talent tree, like the entire base tree that every monk is going to be able to play with, with a ton of mobility options and utility options and better ways to further define how you play a monk at endgame content. 
I am a little bit unsure about how the change for Mistweavers is going to go through, especially with the way they're changing their AoE playstyle. I'm a big fan of the Fist Weaver, so I think in that department, it should still be pretty strong. And in fact, it looks like it's going to be even better than before. But when it comes to the Cast Weaver and range healing playstyles, I do wonder how the Zen Sphere and Zen Burst ability and that change to that being their AoE playstyle, how that's all going to end up working out. But them getting their emergency two set bonus is a massive buff to pure single target output. And I think monks are going to continue being a very potent option going forward, at least with the fist room concern. But we'll see how the range playstyle ends up working out. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.